All right, here we go, man. Let me plug the joint right quick. Why you should date multiple people and the benefits of it. Now, this is for both genders, both men and women. You should date multiple people. Both. And surprisingly, this is a point of contention with a lot of guys. You know, I've heard both men and women complain about this. But I always hear more men than women complain about this. Why you should date multiple people, right? Both men and women should do this. If for no other reason, you should date multiple people so you can compare and contrast. And let me say that shit again. You should date multiple people if for no other reason to compare and contrast. <laughs> now, especially for you people that are looking to get into relationships, you need to be doing this. You might not agree with it, and I don't see why you would disagree with it, right? And here's the thing, right? Because a lot of people's argument, mostly guys, is, oh, these women, they just want a pass to have sex with all these different guys. When I hear people talk like that, and, and don't get it twisted, women talk like this too, just not at the rate that men do. Right? You, you have some pockets of women that act very immature, right, when it comes to this topic, okay? But you have a bigger pocket of men that do this type of shit. Why you should date multiple people and the benefits of it, right? So let, let me say this. Let me be clear on this for the immature, insecure people. It's not just about sex. Yes, sex factors into it, but it's not just about sex. The only people that make it more about sex than anything else, as far as their disagreement of this are immature, insecure people, right? You know, one of the things that I talk about is when you very first start seeing somebody new or dating somebody new don't have any expectations don't have any expectations um the bare minimum you should expect i would say is courtesy and respect courtesy and respect right meaning if you set up a date uh gentlemen if the woman isn't on time, she's being discourteous and disrespectful. If she flat out just flakes on you, she's being disrespectful, right? If you're meeting someone new and they're dating other people, that's not disrespect. You know, for the life of me, I never understood this. I use myself as an example. Today is Thursday. If I go out tonight to one of these lounges or sports bars to watch the Kansas City Chiefs and Ravens game, and I happen to meet a young lady while I'm there, and we're talking, smiling, right, flirting, and at some point, um, it's evident that there's mutual interest right and we exchange contact information why wouldn't i assume that she may have met a guy earlier that day or earlier today why wouldn't i assume that maybe she met a guy yesterday last week last month why wouldn't i assume that there are other suitors that there are other men interested in and that at the bare minimum she is conversing with other men it don't mean that she's fucking them all and even if she was that's not my business she's not my woman we are not in a committed monogamous sexually exclusive relationship so why in the hell would i have these expectations of me being the only guy why in the hell would i have an expectation 
that she's going to prioritize me and I just met her today or let's say a week from now. Why would I assume or expect that she's going to prioritize me when I just met her a fucking week ago? That don't make no fucking sense. Now, here's the reality of it. And this is something that both men and women need to fucking understand. You're not special. Okay? And what I mean by that is this. To your family and friends, maybe even your coworkers, you're special to them. Right? People care about you. You, you mean something to other people. But when you are first meeting new people, dealing with new people, they're strangers. They don't owe you a motherfucking thing. I remember there's a Facebook post. There's a couple of Facebook posts where guys, and there's always guys. It's, it's, I've never seen this with women. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I've just I've only seen it with guys. I'm talking about on the internet, where these guys, there are messages that are uploaded to Facebook or IG even Instagram, I mean, uh, not Instagram, Twitter, or X, formerly known as Twitter, where guys are having these back and forth messages with women that they just took out on a date. And within the message, they're, you know, asking a woman, so what are you up to? What are you going to do? You know, what does the rest of your day look like? Or something like that. And some women will say, oh, I'm about to go out on another date. And guys will literally get into their fucking feelings about a woman going out on more than one date in the same day. Like, why do you care? Okay, and let me say this. Let me let me back up a little bit, right? Because we gotta we gotta clear something up. Because this is what guys will say. She's for the streets, right? This is what they'll say. She's for the streets. And then they'll say one or two things. And I'm talking about these red pill guys specifically. They'll say one or two things. They'll either say, oh, these women are just using men for free dates. Or these women are just using men for free food, right? Which implies that these men aren't having sex with these women that are quote unquote using them for free dates and free food. Then those same guys will turn right around and say, women want to date multiple men so they can fuck them and have a bunch of sex. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, which is it? Are women using men for free dates and food and they're not fucking you? Or are they sleeping with every guy that they're dating? Which one is it? And my thing to guys that complain about this type of shit, pick one. Which one is it? Because if you're complaining about women manipulating men or deceiving men into offering free dates, the only guys that would complain about that are guys that aren't fucking. So that means that women can't be fucking every guy that they're seeing or dating because they ain't fucking you. <laughs> so... When I say why you should date multiple people and the benefits of it, let's be clear. Women are not having sex with every guy that they're seeing and dating. They're not. And, and you know this is a fact because of the things that guys complain about online. There's a bunch of sexually frustrated men. How can women be fucking everybody and there are guys who ain't fucking? That means women aren't fucking everybody. Okay, And if they are fucking everybody, they fucking everybody but you. Like, so... Why you should date multiple people and the benefits of it? Compare and contrast. Here's the thing, and I talked about this recently. When it comes to you men specifically, let me talk to y'all for a moment. When it comes to you establishing your program and okay, the way that you vet women, right? You having a structured way of doing things when it comes to how you date, right? and how you categorize or separate women. The women that you want to take seriously from the women that you don't, right? 
part of that, right, is establishing standards and principles, right? The only way you can really do that and be proficient and efficient at doing so is to actually date women. Who, okay, now if you feel what I'm saying. I'm going somewhere with this. Date women where there is a clear distinction between these group of women who treat you like a king versus these group of women who are discourteous, they're unappreciative, they're inconsistent, the chick ain't never ready on time, hey, maybe you're having sex, but maybe she's inconsistent with the sex, right? So, you, so now that you know Man, I've been treated like a king by these women over here, but these women over here are inconsistent. Even if I am having sex with them, they're inconsistent, right? So I can't really build anything with inconsistent women. So if for any other reason you're comparing and contrasting the different treatment you're getting from women, and the best way to do that is at the same goddamn time, is to date multiple women at one time. Because now you're able to compare and contrast in real time. You can see the treatment in real time. Same thing for women. You can see the treatment in real time. But again, there's always a segment of the population that want to challenge this. And let me just say this about you motherfuckers that do this. It's always these, these champions of monogamy. Now, now, shout out to my monogamous people, right? Because there's a group of monogamous people where they prefer monogamy. They prefer sexual exclusivity when it comes to a long-term relationship or marriage. But they have no problem with open relationships or poly relationships for other people. That might not be their cup of tea, but they're non-judgmental. They're like, eh, if y'all want to do that, y'all do what y'all do. I'm going to be over here with one person. But they're, again, they're saying this is my preferred type of relationship, but I got no problem with other people that do it the other way. Now, for you motherfuckers that are judgment, right? I got a problem with the monogamous judgmental people, right? Because I see Facebook posts where you have both men and women condemning people saying something is wrong with you if you're dating multiple people at the same time. Uh, something is morally wrong with you. It's unethical. All this dumbass shit. And my thing is, if that person or people that you're seeing, if they're being straight up with you and you know you're not the only one and they never lied to you or they never gave you the misleading impression that you were the only one, What's immoral about that? What's unethical about that? Nothing. Okay, you're just a judgmental, insecure individual. And you're immature, right? So, and people are going to be like, nah, that's bullshit. You're always calling people insecure, Zach. No, you're insecure, right? One of the main reasons. Now, there's a multitude of reasons why some people might have an aversion to dealing with people that are dating multiple people at the same time. As long as they're honest, I don't see why you motherfuckers would have an issue with it. But there's always going to be that crowd, right? One of the reasons why you motherfuckers have a problem with it is because you want everything handed to you. Let me say that shit again. And this is for both you men and women. You want everything handed to you. Meaning this. You want to put in minimal effort and gain maximum return. Okay, let me say that shit again. You want to put in or put forth minimal effort in dealing with this person, but you expect maximum return. You want to do as little as possible, but you want this person to do the most. And you just sit back and you're the beneficiary of somebody doing the most while you do the least. Both men and women are guilty of this. Where you just automatically expect to be prioritized in someone's life simply because you like them or you have feelings for them or because you're fucking them and you don't want no one else touching them. Right? And I've had my run-ins with women 
who were on that goofy shit. Like, we're like, we literally just met, never even fucked, and they, and they worrying about me dealing with other women. Like, number one, it's none of your business. I don't give a fuck what you're doing, right? It's none of your business. But not only that, chick, even if I was the type of guy to get into a monogamy-oriented relationship, you got to earn that. I'm not just going to grant you that because you want it. I'm not just going to give you that. You got to earn that shit. And that's the problem with both men and women. They literally, they literally want to be prioritized in someone's life. They want to be looked upon as somebody special in someone's life. And they just met your bitch ass a week or two ago. Why you should date multiple people? And even if they met you six months ago, eight months ago, a fucking year ago, they still don't owe it to you to not date or see anybody else. That's their prerogative. Right? And I've seen, again, I've seen way more guys do this shit. Oh, if I'm not a priority, or, or I, I've seen this, this is my favorite one. If I find out I'm not the only one that you're seeing, I'm out of there. <laughs> I'm out of there. I don't compete. This is what they'll say, I don't compete. Now, let me segue into this before I get up out of here. They'll say, I don't compete. Okay. Um, I'm a big proponent of, as a man, I don't compete for a woman's affection. I don't compete. But here's the reality of it. You can say you don't compete all you want. Okay, this is for both men and women. The both men and women are guilty. Oh, I don't compete for nothing. If I ain't prioritized, if I ain't, prioritized, if I ain't the one, then I, then I ain't fucking with you. Okay? You might not compete. Like you personally might not compete for someone's affection. And you shouldn't. Right? So I agree with that premise. But here's the reality of it. You might not compete. But when you're the new person in somebody's life, there is always competition. Because you are being compared to somebody else. Every time you meet somebody new, you're being compared to somebody else. You're either being compared to other people that they previously dated or were in a relationship with, or you're being compared and contrasted with people that they're dealing with now. Yes, you are, whether you like it or not. And here's the reality of it for a lot of these insecure, immature people. You don't like that, okay? And what it really is, deep down inside, you feel inept. You feel inadequate and you don't like the prospect or the idea that you're being put up against somebody else or that you're being compared to somebody else because you feel like I'm not being chosen and I don't like this. So I'm going to pout and I'm going to take my ball and go home. My thing is, if you are dating multiple people yourself, you don't have the time and the energy to be sitting around worrying about somebody else comparing you and contrasting you any motherfucking way. Why you should date multiple people and the benefits of it. If for anything else, you want to compare and contrast the people that you're seeing. And again, this is for both men and women. You ain't got to have sex with everyone that you meet. Right? There's been times, let me say this, and I'm going to close it with this. There's been times where I've had a rotation, like a solid rotation of anywhere from three to five chicks where we're consistently, well, some, some of the chicks were consistently um, having sex and also we're going out. And then for some of the other chicks in a rotation, it's just consistent sex. So when I talk about like a consistent rotation, in my opinion, it's got to be at least three months or more, three, three, at least 90 days or more where there's consistency in whatever it is you're doing, right? That you want to do. I'm not talking about the woman. I'm talking about what it is, whatever it is you want to do. Now, in between that, I'm still meeting other women, right? I'm still meeting other women. And some of those other women that I'm meeting outside of the rotation, they may become part of the rotation where there's other women in the rotation that fall off. And then there are other women who come in that I'm dealing with, I might have sex with once or twice, but they never become part of the rotation. And the reason why this is going on is because I'm comparing and contrasting. But also, 
the women that I'm dealing with, they're doing the exact same thing to me. They're comparing and contrasting me up against other men. So if they know Carrie ain't looking for no relationship, but this other guy that I'm dating is, and the woman can benefit from dealing with that other guy, and she wants to leave me alone and explore that other guy, I welcome that. In fact, I encourage women, hey, baby, hey, he want to be your next boyfriend. I don't. Hey, you, you better go on over there and skedaddle over there to him. Hey, good luck. If that don't work out, come back this way. The average guy isn't built to do that. And there are some women who aren't built to do that because you motherfuckers are selfish. Y'all think y'all can meet people and just shackle people to you. I understand that. Like nobody belongs to you. Okay, and let me just say this to both you men and women. A lot of you motherfuckers, whether you're dating or in a relationship, I got news for you. You're sharing, whether you know it or not, or whether you like it or not. Now, some of you, you may be fortunate and you may actually have a person in your life who only wants you and they're sincere about that. But you should never expect that. And no one owes you that.